especially in certain areas of Pennsylvania, there is a history of growing tobacco. And this is a crop that kind of resembles tobacco. The fact that it is labor intense, the fact that it needs to be dried. Uh, there is a lot of experience that tobacco growers can use to manage this crop and to handle this crop. One aspect that is very important is hemp is a crop that suffers water saturation. If the soil is uh, always wet, it's not good for this crop. It, it prefers soil that are well drained. And so we need to monitor really well uh, the level of moisture in the soil, the level of fertility. And the best way to manage the crop really is to do fertigation. So in the, with the fertigation, what we do is to apply water and nutrient at the same time. Part of my production system, we went with the raised beds black plastic, keeps it up so like within the gully between the rows, if there's any runoff, there's runoff space. You can have your cover crop within there. Um, we use a regular drip line irrigation and just send it through the, uh, the water line to the header line and drip feed the entire plants. The more information you can get about your own crop, the better prepared you are to make decisions the entire season, and the better prepared you are to figure out how you're going to market this crop. For commercial growers, if they have to sell the product, they need to call a certified agent, and they will come, collect the buds, send it to a lab, and make sure that the level of THC is below the threshold and then you have 15 days to harvest. If you don't harvest within those 15 days, you need to call them again and, and do that again. Three weeks ago, we started harvesting the, the flowers or the colas, which is what you want on the top half of the plant. The first week we went through the field, we took the, the bigger colas. The second week we went through it again, and now we have off what we really want, and we have someone that's interested in the remaining of, remainder of the plant. The, the best way um, to, to define you know, when it's time to harvest is to look at the, at the plant uh, biomass and then look at the quality of the flower. And that's why it's important to you know, do what we are doing here, evaluating different varieties, different genotypes, so that we can provide as much possible information to the growers.